steps that are taken far away from Afghanistan to seek justice. Over 50 Afghan women leaders from across Afghanistan and the diaspora coming from various parts of the world gathered in a historic meeting in Dubai to declare their common and shared positions on the Afghan peace talks. The first and last message from all women of Afghanistan on behalf of Afghan people that we want ceasefire during the peace talks. And that is very important for all of us, and they must do accept and they must do respect that the people, what the people of Afghanistan wants. The second one is that in the peace process that all people of Afghanistan should be, it should be inclusive. Everyone should be part of that, and particularly those uh, uh, small groups, youths, um, victims of um, war, and uh, women should be part of this process. And women must to play their role, not as a victim, as a responsible citizens of the country for the entire peace process. And the last one, uh, which is, is not so far last, but security for those women that, and protection for those women that they are at front line, that they are trying to be wise of the people of Afghanistan. <laughs> Lack of women's participation in the peace process has also angered the women. Of the 21-member negotiation team selected by the Afghan government, only four women have been allowed to represent the half of the Afghan population. There are absolutely zero women in the Taliban team. Women should make at least 30% in all levels of the peace process and post-agreement development. Having more women in the, in the negotiation team in the peace process will put a lot of pressure on Taliban and also it shows the actual reality and fact of the country. They are concerned about their fate as women and the real prospect of women's rights being the price Afghanistan pays for peace. This would put back into the situation they were in 20 years ago, and this more than anything angers the most. We are concerned because we are dealing with a group of people who is fighting for oppression, not fighting for freedom, not fighting for promotion of human rights and equality. So that is a scenario. Having the experience uh, of, the, of Taliban in, in Afghanistan before, we are afraid that we might lose some of our rights that we gained already in 20 years. The Islam should not be politicized um, uh, because uh, Islam given the same right to men and women and uh, Afghan constitution is also defined based on Islamic regulations. Since most of the victims in the Afghan conflict are civilians, especially women and children, the gathering of leading Afghan women called for taking into the account the demands of victims' families in the peace talks. فامیلای قربانی همی توقع را داره که قربانی خود دادیم ولی ما چرا نماینده نداریم چرا در همی مورد سلح که مذاکره میشه از پیش ما چرا سوال نمیشه چرا مشوره گرفته نمیشه Lack of transparency in the peace process has also caused concern among ethnic and religious minorities in Afghanistan that have been subject to systematic discrimination by Taliban both during their five-year rule and up to present اقلیت‌های قومی در افغانستان همیشه با مشکلات مختلف روبرو بودن و هیچ گونه توانستان در قالب نظام سیاسی جایگاهشان را پیدا بکنن و با آمدن طالبان نگرانی بیشتر و بیشتر میشه به خاطر که اینایی که در قالب یک نظام دموکراسی و دموکراتیک با هم ارزش ها نتونستن جایگاه خوبی بر خودشان تعریف بکنن آیا در نظام طالبانی چی خواهد شد Participants at the gathering warn of harmful consequences if social peace is sacrificed for political peace. Hargah solh ejtemayi tamin nashwa dar kinar solh siyasi wa amu agreement ya basla taufuq nami siyasi. Tabiatan ke asar nagwari bar mardom wa bar zindagi shan khahat dash. Yeki azi nagwari ha. مهاجرت ها ایجاد و زیاد مهاجرت ها و زیاد بیجا شده هاست که چیره یو سیاسی صلحه و یو جورجالی و نیمستا و نیمزمه شی زما پا فکر که دقا با از من پلاستر آرون و بانده از من پا مدینیت بانده از من پا اغا 
Representatives of NATO, EU, Germany and UNAMO announced their support for the gathering and promised the Afghan women that they will help preserve the gains made over the last 20 years. So you can trust that protecting women, empowering women, working with you, trying to help your efforts is something we will not resign on. If we resign on this, it means we have resigned on everything else. And your voices are heard. Amplify them, aggregate together and strengthen them, reach out across traditional barriers and form common cause for peace. The strategy for women's engagement in the peace process was also worked on at the Sixth Day Gidaran, which was held by Afghan Women's Network and facilitated by the Afghan Mechanism for Inclusive Peace. In group discussions, they worked on different elements of a possible three-year strategy. Uh, in Group 7, uh, today we have discussed the rights and freedom of women. One of the main uh, um, uh, discussions uh, the women had was that Afghan constitution is the red line. Okay, well, it's going very well to begin with. The women are very engaged, they all take this very seriously, they're very committed, they want to come to a resolution. We've been working on a number of key issues and we will come towards the end at the end of the week, we will have a comprehensive set of ideas that they'd like to push forward and they'd also have an action plan on how to take it forward. In Europe, there are many different Afghan associations and non-profit organizations who are um, very active. They have activities both uh, socially, culturally and politically for Afghans uh, who are in the diaspora. Um, I think that they can all unite themselves, come together, collaborate, and in this way they can organize um, a larger um, association or a larger organization with a higher voice and that's how they can support Afghanistan and Afghan women politically. At the end of the Afghan Women Leaders Peace Summit, the Afghan women issued a declaration outlining their concerns, demands and recommendations to both negotiation sites and all stakeholders involved in the Afghanistan peace process. It's going to be shared widely. Um, it's going to be provided to, of course, in Afghanistan, the State Ministry for Peace, the peace negotiating team, um, uh, the diplomatic community in Afghanistan, large institutions like UNAMA, uh, NATO. We will also be transferring this declaration to the Taliban negotiating side as well. We are an impartial, non-partisan mechanism. So we will be submit. We will be transferring this. Though we do not have an agreement with the Taliban negotiating uh, team as of yet, um, we will though submit this to them as well. Natürlich, jeder Papier, das in diesem Zusammenhang vom afghanischen Zivilgesellschaft gestellt wird, werden wir für die Peace Process, Friedensprozess anwenden und Frauenangelegenheiten, Frauenrechte ist ein sehr wichtiger und Standteil unserer Arbeit und wir zurzeit versuchen, dass die Zivilgesellschaft mit der die ähm, Verhandlungsdelegation äh, 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 in Verbindung zu bringen. Afghan women consider the constitution and the gains of the past two decades a red line. They pledge to continue to fight for preserving these values against any injustice and discrimination in the peace process.